Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, what do you think is the biggest problem facing mobile development? So let's get into it. Well, there are a few problems with mobile development that stand out, but I would say that the biggest problem is the feature matching of the web. That's, that's the thing I see as the biggest threat or the biggest problem to mobile development. Now let me explain. So basically the way that I think about it is that mobile development has inherently a few problems. The biggest problem that mobile development has when it comes in oppos opposition to the web is that it lacks the same business value as the web has for most companies. What I mean by that is that if you think about it, the way that people discover information and the way that people go about finding new concepts within our world today is very central is central and very like it's very centralized around the web as it stands today major 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 companies have a very large investment in the fact that you have the concept of a search engine as google as google's as an example and apart from that through the web you have the ability to actually scrape other sites index information you can provide a the searchability that is not possible today through a mobile ecosystem because if you have a mobile app you don't have the same level of discoverability now the biggest benefit that mobile uh, like mobile apps and native apps actually provide is number one the fact that it is a higher performance like you have a you can actually create heavier applications as it stands today the second thing is that it has a better user experience. Now these two things, if you think about them, they are in no way exclusive to mobile development. It used to be the same thing for desktop applications, if you remember back in the day, that you created this, like the norm was to create desktop, native desktop applications because you needed that, the CPU power and the GPU in order to create applications that felt you know, well made. Mobile represents the same thing. Web doesn't, or has until very recently, not had that same, same sort of potential. But that's changing. I would go as far as to say that the feature matching of the web is a, is a continuing, issue, continuing issue for mobile development because the mobile ecosystem has nothing to put up, put up against the inherent lower business value that it has. Think about it, if like the biggest, like Google and all these companies, like they depend quite heavily on ads and being able to suggest content and provide tools that allow other businesses to understand their users, to help them understand user, uh, to, to send pro, uh, until very recently, sell your private information and stuff of this nature. And that is a lot easier if you go through the web because you can control the browser, you can control the web pages with cookies and all this good stuff. None of this exists within the mobile ecosystem because now every single website or every single app is an island. It's a silo in of itself and you cannot tap into that, into that as well as you can for the web. And there is really, there's very little like the mobile develop like mobile can do about that because that that is fundamentally a limit of the platform if we solve that problem we could be in a, in a different situation but right now from my perspective mo the mobile ecosystem is basically in a waiting game for the web to catch up and provide pretty much all of the features that you already have within mobile development I mean, if you think about it from a user perspective, like a UX perspective, if you create a progressive web application today, there is, app, there is from the user's perspective, there's virtually no difference between having a progressive web application and just having a native app. This experience, I would argue, is even better if you do it correctly because you don't have to go to the app store and stuff of this nature. You can just install it on your phone as any application. It will work offline. It will do all these things right. I'm, I'm admit, I will admit that there is still some way to go, but we are seeing progression towards in that direction for the web. M mobile doesn't really have anything coming that is going to be a threat to the web. Other things to consider is the, you, you t will talk about uh, more heavy computation things, such as games and things of this nature. And I absolutely think that there's going to be some time before something like, say, WebAssembly, which is assaulting that front, is going to be able to take over or really become something that is a threat to that part. 
but it's happening. And as you see, like if you look at from the mobile perspective, there's, they're not actually moving anywhere where they can claim that they are assaulting p like the potential of the web. Like uh, they are, well, they're losing ground where the web is gaining ground. So to me, that is like that is probably the biggest threat threat uh, threat to the mobile development industry. The one thing I, what I think is going to happen is that mobile development is going to go the same way as desktop, desktop development did when the web kind of won that war, which is that it's still going to be around because there are applications that inherently are really, really useful. Like they should be, uh, you know, there are applications that really make good desktop applications. There are applications that make really good mobile applications, but the dominant force and the norm is usually that you make something for the web. And I don't think that structure is going to change anytime soon. It might become the time, we might see a time where almost exclusively everything, every type of application is built for the web. But I think that's going to be a while. But the first step is for sure that you're going to see a feature, a complete feature matching between what you can do with a web application and with a mobile application. And then inherently, I can remember a lot of companies, they have a mobile presence, especially the big companies with really low old web applications. There's a big cost in maintaining a mobile application just to remain relevant in the marketplace. And if you could use, if you could skip that entire migration to these two platforms, that would be a use, very, very powerful thing. You could save a lot of money by just staying on the web and porting your existing web code over to them. Because I've been part of these projects where some companies really struggle to make a port of their application to a mobile experience. And if they can keep it on the web, that's extremely useful. And I mean, it's kind of hard to, if you just think about it, from a political perspective as well. The web isn't technically owned by anyone. There's, you know, it's something that is fairly free and open. There are organiza organizations such as Mozilla, for example, that maintain some type of neutrality position, while as the mobile ecosystem is completely owned by just a few companies. And for political reasons, that's also, I mean, there are quite a few companies out here in the world that cannot, for political reasons, work with Google or Facebook or whatever. They don't have an interest in it because of other factors than, hey, it's possible. So I don't see mobile becoming this like dominant force that takes over everything because then in, in effect, all the info, like you, pretty much everybody would be in the hands of these companies. So what I want you to take away from this is basically that feature matching, I will argue, is the biggest threat well, the, the web feature matching uh, basically mobile development into a secondary position because there is a bit of a war going on right now but uh, from my perspective the web is winning this and it comes down to the fact that the web is more flexible it has a higher business value for a lot of companies there are things that the mobile ecosystem does today that people really really desire but it's just in my world a matter of time before the web can do all of those things as well have a great day